Hello everyone, this is Nua Once and I was ready for bed. All comfortable. It's right over there. And I get a message saying, did you hear about VR Chat Plus? And I was like, what the fuck is VR Chat Plus? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. I am pushing back my sleep just to talk about this. And honestly, it's not going to be a put together video. I'm just going to be cutting out moments when I look at my script. Honestly, usually when these new changes happen, there's a lot of reception on both sides, positive and negative. And I just want to talk about it. Um, if we open up the menu up here, I'm in the beta actually to look at everything for VR Chat Plus. And this is what we get. So I'm going to back up so you can see exactly what we have. And these are all the benefits we currently have with buying the VR Chat Plus package. As you can see, $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year. You save 16%. You save 20 bucks, roughly. So first off, it does get a nameplate icon. Um, so on your, where your name tag is, you can have a personalized icon. I personally do like that. Uh, mainly for content creators, YouTubers, streamers. You can then have your recognizable logo. So if people don't know your username, they'll see this and be like, oh, oh, I know you, cool. A um, hundred favorite avatars. So with that, once again, it, um, VRChat has updated or is planning to update from 16 to 25 for base users. And for this, it's now a hundred. Um, early supporter badge. So you get this little badge. Uh, it, it's in their profile. I don't know if it does anything else. I can't click on it, so we'll never know. Increased trust. You get higher trust quicker. Um, I feel like this is a little misleading. The a higher trust rank means more of your avatar features are visible by default. Because if we quickly go into my safety settings... I have mine automatically off all the time besides my friends. Um, I'm guessing they mean the normal. Which, yes, that is technically true if you don't customize your own stuff. But I will always recommend people customize their own shield level because you never know what you're going to get. And most of the time, it's the trusted users that you have to worry about. <laughs> um, but going back to VRC+. Plus, we also have more in the works. Um, it says it says shh, but we're gonna talk about it anyways. I'm sorry, VR chat, please don't ban me. <laughs> but pretty much, from what I understand, I was explained to you by my friend Fire. Is it, this way when you send an invite, it will send a photo of what you're doing, and you can connect it to your invite. I don't know what the purpose of that is. I guess it's to show who's there and who's not. I'm not a big fan of it, but. That's personally me. Um, I'm sure there are people who will take enjoyment from it. And if they do, that's great. I mean, I, th this has no downside to me. So I really have no opinion about it. I personally don't see the use of it. But if somebody does, then more power to them. We don't all need the same, you know, stuff. This is the thing about games. Customization is important. When you open up this, it has a whole new icon. Or a whole new, uh, whatever. And, you know, take this as you will. I'm just going to show it to you. Let you look at it. You see it? See it? Cool. So that's pretty much everything that they've shown so far for VR Chat Plus. And just going to put dip my toe in my opinion real quick. I don't feel like that's worth $10 a month or $100 a year. However, if you noticed, it did say there is more in development. And I want to just quickly go over what my theory of this is. Because... It does say that there is more things planned and specifically for the whole new UI menu. Now, we've also known for a very long time two things. One, it's not a new thing that we were going to have to get some kind of DLC or some kind of paid. If you went onto the career page of VR Chat's website, you would see that they were specifically looking for someone to do this kind of thing. I would know because I really want to work for VR Chat. And so I almost applied for it. But I decided I knew that this was not going to be receptive very well. And I did not want to be the person that was under fire for it. So I am so sorry for whoever got that job. Stay strong. 
it's just, it's a learning curve for everyone. Everyone, it's got to be tweaked a little bit. The second thing that we've known, if you did keep up with VR Chat's stream updates, sometime back in, I think, February or March, it was before the virus hit. I don't remember when, but I do remember because that was the same day I applied to work at VR Chat. Uh, they had a stream talking about Avatar 3.0, Udon, and a bunch of other stuff. One of the things they did point out was that they were going to have a different kind of HUD. Is that what it's called? HUD? Hub? Whatever. Different menu. <laughs> and with this different menu, it's going to be completely changed up. It's going to be customizable. And I thought it was kind of cool. It looked weird, but once again, when you're so used to something and somebody changes it, you're not going to be immediately like, yeah. You're going to be like, eh. But it takes time. It does take time to get used to. And by looking at it, I didn't immediately hate it. The one thing that I noticed was that they were like kind of two different screenshots. And I thought that was a little weird. So my current guess to future features is that one of these screenshots is the regular VR chat menu and the other one is for VR chat plus. The other one you can tell is a lot more customizable. It can have like information about whoever you're looking at on one side. It can have worlds on the other and they did heavily like repeat themselves in saying that this whole menu can be switched around and look pretty cool. So I think one of the features that will come with this is this whole menu customization, which would be really cool because some people prioritize other things. Some people prioritize immediately looking at their friends list. Some people prioritize looking at the worlds first. Some people prioritize what else is there? Their avatars. Like there everyone's got a different priority. And each one is equally important. We use all of them in the game. But for example, when I get on, the first thing I do is open up my social to see who's on. I mean, once again, we only got like a little bit of a screenshot, a little bit of teaser for what is to come. So we can't really say what exactly we're expecting. As I said earlier, this is the first night. Like it just came out like a couple hours ago. And uh, <laughs> if you don't know, it did not go over well at all. It's, it's blown up in the negative sense. And there are obviously some supporters who back it, but overall negative thoughts and negative feedback. People think it's a terrible idea. And just to go over a little bit of what was happening in the Discord, if you were unaware or you saw things and you didn't understand, um, the first thing is the lemons. People started spamming fruit, specifically lemons, in the chat and were immediately getting either banned or muted or whatever. Um, one person said that they confirmed that their friend got banned, but once again, I have no evidence of that, so take it as you will. What we do know is that they either got, they got their message deleted, and they were either muted or banned, because then you wouldn't hear from them again. The lemon thing started out because apparently people started posting immediate negative criticism. They had issues with it, and I will go over these issues in a minute, but as their criticism was being placed, they were receiving warnings, and getting their messages deleted. So someone was like, hey, if you don't want to hear criticism, fine. Instead, I'm going to post a lemon, and whenever somebody posts a lemon, it shows that we are dissatisfied for what you've done. So people just started spamming lemons, and then other fruits. And then I, th I saw a, like a jalapeno at one point. I don't know. Honestly, my opinion is, if the moderators were deleting criticism that was actual criticism to this new product, they are in the wrong. The devs don't have an easy job at all. And I'm not saying they do because they're in charge of trying to keep everyone happy in a game that is almost as toxic as every single poison type Pokemon in existence. And <laughs> it's hard. It's not gonna be easy. But you can't just delete people's criticism just because they don't like what's happened. Apparently, I was also seeing in a lot of these streams of comments, people complaining that when the fan base, when the player base was asking for more avatar slots, they were getting warnings. And once again, I have no evidence of that, but it was constantly brought up. So take that as you will. You have to... 
people aren't going to be happy with change, especially when that change has a dollar sign on it. And the only things that change are more avatar spaces and a picture on your nameplate. And that's pretty much it. There are other things in there that they say they're going to add, but in reality, for people who would most likely buy this, are people who are already trusted users. They don't need a higher rank up faster. But I'm gonna segue that into what the haters say. Um, the people who do not support this decision have a lot of concerns. And I have a list of them, and this is gonna be a really cut up part because I gotta look at all of the things that they said, and some of them might be left out because once again, I am doing this like almost immediately after it was revealed. But here we go. One of the big things that VRChat said that this was going to do is help develop the game more, which is great. I want to see this game develop more. I want to see it grow like a tree. People who do not support VRC Plus believe that it will not go into the development of the game. Because if money was going into the development of the game, then their backers, their supporters, their whatever you want to call it, they believe that if they were actually going to put this money into developing the game for a better way, the money that came from investors would have already been done to do that. There are issues that have been in this game for since as long as I've been playing that have not been fixed. And while I am aware, because I do have a friend that knows this game a little bit better than I, he explains why some of these changes are either impossible or are going to be really difficult to convince the player base to go with, some of them could have been dealt with. Another big thing that was pointed out in Discord is people were claiming that VRChat makes a lot of money already. Now, I cannot confirm nor deny that. I do not know. I'm just putting it out there of what a lot of people who are against this change say. They think that since they already make so much money from investors, that they should not expect their player base to also be the ones in charge of funding what needed to be fixed years ago. People want the important things fixed before bells and whistles. You cannot build a mansion with pools and gold and crystals and chandeliers and those cool little portraits of yourself from the 1980s without having a good foundation. Because the second you start building those layers up, eventually it's all gonna come crumbling down, whether from an outside source or an inside source. People are feeling like VRChat is trying to do a get-rich-quick scheme in a way. They're trying to get more money for themselves. And once again, I'm just going over the people who disagree with this choice point of view right now. I'll go into my point of view in a minute. But with that, I do feel like that's... A, uh, this game has made them money. And good money in theory. You're not going to want to squander that chance. You really aren't. I don't want to like get uh, get video game political in here, but don't pull a Yandere dev. Another big concern that non-backers have is that VRChat's already been a little bit classist. You have the visitor all the way up to trusted. And I'm not going to lie, there are people in this game that will immediately block or mute people who are visitors. One of my biggest questions from VRChat itself is why is in the menu there is an option to mute anyone of any rank. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't understand why it's there. That just plays to these ideals that the higher rank you are, the better you are. And then the lower ranks will probably do it back. But with this whole new system, the fears are that there's going to be another layer that's going to make people feel even more powerful and more above others. And let me give you a little bit of a harsh reality. It's a game. It's a game. You're not going to be able to go to that fancy six-digit job and be like, I'm a trusted user in VR chat. I'll be expecting my private desk. That's not what's going to happen at all. It doesn't matter. You may be making yourself feel better in this game because you put more hours in somebody else, but that somebody else probably has a life. I've met somebody in this game that's a blue user. And you know what they do for a living? They fly private airplanes. And the reason they're blue is because they only get on for like an hour. This ranking system means nothing. But I do like it. Personally, because I like the pretty colors over my username, 
I would be really sad if everyone had like the same color. I feel like if anything, we should be able to customize our colors. Mm, that'd be kind of cute. That actually brings up my final point, which is their concern, and this is one of the biggest concerns that I honestly am kind of feeling, is that with this new update with VR Chat Plus, some things that we have already had in the game are going to be taken away. Naturally, we should have had more favorites because people have been asking for more favorites for a long time. And I'm not going to really get mad at them about this 100 thing because they are updating the amount of avatars available to favorites to 25. That's nine more slots. I feel like, honestly, that should be enough. But I also make my own avatars. So I have a different point of view from it. There are people who don't make their own avatars either because they can't or because they don't want to learn. Ow. But with this whole VR Chat Plus, what if they decide that you have to have the subscription to start uploading a certain amount of worlds as a way to deter people from making memes or a certain amount of avatars to deter people from making avatars that weren't great? And that's a legitimate issue that I am worried about. And I would really appreciate it if VR Chat made a statement regarding that specific problem. Because I'm going to be honest, if you want to support this game, you make something for this game. You can give it money, and that's great. But the main driving force behind this game is what the content creators build. We do have an example of this, which makes this fear have ground. The big thing is nameplates were originally customizable with a shader that somebody made. I don't remember the name of the person, I apologize, but I thought it was really cool and I kind of wanted to do it, but I didn't because I just had a feeling that VRChat wasn't going to allow it. Within a few hours, VRChat banned it from when I found out. They said it wasn't allowed. And they also did an overreaching ban on any avatar that hides your nameplate. I'm going to be honest. While I do agree with it 100%, I think it's a great thing because we did have a big issue with avatars that hide nameplates. I feel like it's mainly this feature that they implemented for their paywall that made them make that choice instead of actually having it as a concern. And so that's why I'm legitimately nervous about being limited on what I can create. I understand the limitation of the community labs where you can only upload one world a week. That makes sense. If you're making more than one world a week, you either need to spend more time on that world or less time on the computer, I guess, unless it's your job. But if it's your job to build worlds, then I have a feeling that VR chat wouldn't be telling you to wait a week. Just, just my opinion. So now I wanna get into the point of the supporters. One of the biggest things that supporters feel are that the players are being overdramatic because this is how people acted when Discord Nitro came out. And I do want to point out that I hate Discord Nitro. I bought it because I was having issues with Discord all the time, and I still have issues with Discord. So, it didn't do anything. Unrelated, though. I do agree with this to an extent. Whenever there's a small change in the game, people always blow up about it, always freak out. The move from 2017 to 2018, the move to add Udon, every big change always gets a negative feedback immediately. The second thing is pretty obvious, the game needs funding to proceed. And if you don't have funding, you don't have a game. And I don't know much about servers. I don't, I'm not very smart. The only servers I've messed with is Minecraft servers. And it wasn't even mine. I was just looking up information because I really wanted to play Pokemon with friends. But servers cost money. And I have no idea how the servers work in this game. But my God, just think about how many worlds, how many private instances, how many anything that comes in this game. It costs a lot. I mean, let me, let me just, real quick, let me go to Worlds right now. I'm not switching cameras because I don't want to look at it one eye. Let's go to the Among Us, Among Us by Jar. It's got almost 5,000 people in, a pub in public instances and 12,000 people in private instances. You can have max 20 people in that world. And for people who are like, no, you can only have 10. When VR chat says 10, it means 20. There's a soft cap and a hard cap. That's a lot of instances. That's
that's a lot of people in one world. Let me go to another world. You ready? Let's go to Murder 2. Murder 2 has 640 people in public and 80 in private. Let's look at the black cat. The black cat has 4,500 in public and 500 in private. That's three worlds that already exceeded 10,000 people. Right now. That's a lot of instances. And I don't know how servers work. I don't know how any of that works, but I'm sure it's not cheap. The more people we get, the more instances we get, the more money it's going to cost. And once again, you can prove me wrong. I don't I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I know basics. Absolute bare bone basics. I'd love to learn more. I just I'm I'd never have the time. But even I know that it's going to be costly to run this kind of game. The other thing is just all of this stuff is quality of life. And once again, going back to my previous point of my fear is if they don't limit what you have, then yes, it will be only quality of life stuff. A hundred avatars, having a cute little profile picture for your name, etc. It's cute, I guess. You don't need it though. So you don't have to have it. According to them, the point of the subscription is to show that we support the game and the devs and that this will help in hiring more people to help make the game better. And I understand that. As somebody who's been trying to get a job at this company since March-ish, I understand. <laughs> Give it the funding. Money doesn't grow on trees and they've got to get that money somewhere. Obviously, they're going to have to be on some kind of budget if they have investors involved. And, you know, they're not going to just be like, hey, we ran out of money. Can we have more? Give me more. Money, please. And I mean, I do understand that. Because, once again, if you know that you're going to get an allowance, you're going to budget for it. But if you got a job, that's even more money that you can budget for. So I do understand that to an extent. It makes sense to me. So even though I kept putting my own opinion in, I am going to now take this time to talk about how I feel about VRChat Plus. First and foremost, I think it is actually a step in the right direction. I have a video that I had recorded three times now, and each time something has gone wrong with the recording. So one day I will re-record it, but the over-branching, you know, information was it's about the role of minors in VR chat if they should be allowed in the game or not. I'm just going to do a quick little recap of that. The long and short is I feel like we should not be taking away minors from this game because it is allowed towards minors. But at the same time, there are things that content creators want to make that they are not allowed to make. They were in the past, but rules have gotten stricter and stricter and stricter because people keep breaking them. And I feel like if we had some kind of 18 plus subscription, subscription is the wrong word, but 18 plus barrier, where if you have this barrier, if you have this pass, if you have this whatever, you're allowed to post any kind of world as long as you appropriately tag it. I feel like this is something similar in a way. Now, I do not believe that it should be a monthly subscription thing. I do not 100%. All of this stuff that they have shown so far is something that is quality of life for starters, but for secondly, something that really you don't need to pay monthly for. If for some reason you go over 25 favorite avatars, when you stop paying that subscription, what avatars does it decide to remove? Obviously, you'll get rid of your little name tag thing, but the, the avatars is the big one for me. Like, huh? There's really no point in making it a subscription-based event unless there's a reason to have it a subscription-based event. Is there going to be worlds that come out every month specifically for these subscribers, for these supporters? And if there's not, there's really no purpose to it. It should be a one-time payment for what it is right now. Of course, once again, we don't know what it's going to be. But then it comes back to my theory of if the menu is going to be customizable for VR chat backers only. When it goes away, does it right back? I'm guessing so. 
I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, but once again, it seems silly to me. Like, why not just make it a one-time payment? I get it, it's the support. But, if anything, there should be tears. But once again, I don't see what exactly this feature is giving that deserves a monthly payment. It should be one time, and if people still complain about the one time payment, that's on them. If they had a tier system, it starts out as 50 for just the 100 avatars, and then this, and then this, and then this, or you get a discount when you pay like in tiers, but it's not as cheap as just paying for the biggest tier right away, then cool. I think that would have worked a lot better. But once again, I don't know what I'm talking about, I guess. I think that the, the quicker ranking would benefit us because then we would have less of that gap for people who pay for it, at least. The more people who pay for it, the smaller the gap becomes, the less important your stupid little purple name tag will be. One of my biggest things that I do want to bring up is, I said it earlier, but I want to go more in depth about it now, is people's argument that this is to support the game. And yes, it is a monetary way to support the game. But I want to bring up one world in particular. The Devouring. That game was made specifically for VR chat with VR chat's tools. And it's been made nowhere else. You cannot play it anywhere. It is a high quality map that literally could have been its own game on Steam. I would have paid for it too. But the beauty about this game is the fact that you could have your own look, your own persona, your own everything and then go into the devouring and have your own story. That's what makes it so great. And you could only do that here in VR chat. The entrance into the interests of this game is through your world and your avatars, your content that is mostly made by content creators. I may be wrong, but a lot of the most popular worlds are worlds made by people who are playing the game, not paid by the game. The Void Club, Room of Rain, Devouring Once Again, Drinking Night. All of these worlds were made by people who were doing it out of passion, not out of payment. They may get paid now, I don't know. I know Drinking Night isn't, but everyone else, I have no idea. But back then they were doing it because they legitimately wanted to make something. I don't get paid for this. I make it for fun. I think the most important thing that VR Chat should focus on is making sure that the content creators are happy. Because at the end of the day, people keep coming back to VR Chat because they see stuff that interests them. There's also the social aspect, but people hang out at drinking night, people hang out in Room of Rain, people hang out in Void Club. If we didn't have any of those, where would people hang out? In the home world? Where there's nothing to do? No. People most of the time don't even use the home world as their home world. I haven't seen a VR chat made map since the VR market. And I don't even think that was made by VR chat, so it was just put up there. Nobody looks at what VR chat makes for the most part. There was a spookyality, I will admit, but I haven't looked at it yet, so ha, I'm not lying. This time. So I really think they should focus on making sure that the content creators are happy. And by doing that, I think making things more accessible for the content creators. Once again, if you guys are thinking about, if someone from VRChat is watching, if you're thinking about using this VRChat Plus to put a paywall for world and avatar building, please don't. I can guarantee you it will kill your game. Nobody's gonna wanna make anything. It may drastically lower the amount of people making crappy world and crappy avatars, that crash, steal, show gore, maybe. They'll still happen, but just less. Who you're punishing are the honest to God content creators. And you really don't want to do that. I once again ask if somebody from VR chat does see this, I would love to see them make a statement reassuring us that there is no chance they are going to make a paywall for content creation. Because the only thing that worries me about this is that. Is the fact that they might take this and make it so content creators can't make whatever they want unless they pay for it. 
And honestly, I'm probably going to pay for the first month or two to see how much I like it, see if there's anything really worth it. But still, I don't want to feel like I'm being held at gunpoint to play the game that I enjoy. I love creating stuff. I know a lot of people in this game loves creating stuff. Taking that away is just cruel. <laughs> and finally, just final thoughts, has nothing to do with this. But if I see another person complaining about mirror camping, I'm going to come to your house and eat your... Literally, in the Discord, most of the people who hate this change, that is what they are complaining about the most. Is that it's going to be a benefit to mirror campers only. And everyone's a mirror camper once in a while. Everyone sits at a mirror when they just want to relax, chill out, lay down, and call it a day. If you don't like your friends sitting in front of a mirror, either get them interested in doing something or go find somebody else to hang out when they're just trying to relax. Stop whining. I'm tired of it. I'm tired because, because it is so off topic, but every time I see somebody whining about mirror campers, it's somebody that I know mirror camps themselves. You do it, don't lie. You're just saying you don't do it because you see other people do it more than you. I don't know a single person that does it all the time. There probably is, but once again, it's their game. They can do what they want. Just don't be friends with them. Are you upset that they're camping the mirror because you can't camp at the mirror? I use my camera, <laughs> but that's also because I want to make sure my body doesn't go flying. But I, I have my camera out all the time. People always ask, are you streaming? No, I'm not. I won't stream VR chat. Maybe in a private instance on a rare occasion, but I, ugh, no. Most I would stream is probably world building. So stop it. Get some help. But on that note, thank you very much for watching this video. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think is good or bad about this update. I would love to hear from you. I will ask one important thing. You're going to be kind in my comments because I will delete them without second thoughts. I will also maybe screenshot them and read them in a funny voice to my friends. So if you want to have a voice like this and be wah, 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 go ahead and make that comment. Nobody's going to see it besides me and my friends. And we're going to laugh at you. And we're going to remember who you are. So, yeah. Anyways, as usual, drink your water, eat your broccoli, and have a good night. Bye-bye.